happy 4th of July, one of my favorite days ever since I was a little kid. No better backdrop than a tank behind you for Independence Day. I think about this day. I think about my friends that served. I think about what they fought for. I think about the opportunity that my kids wake up with. I think about the opportunity that myself and my wife have every single day. That's the United States of America. We wake up here. We wake up under 50 stars, 13 red and white stripes, and we get to decide if today is better than yesterday, no matter what, no matter if somebody slighted us yesterday, if we screwed up in some kind of way yesterday, Yesterday, if we lost two legs and a finger the day before, it doesn't matter. In the United States of America, we get to wake up and decide that the next day is a better day, no matter what, or we don't. That's the responsibility that we have. We got to make sure that it's a better day. That's the opportunity that we get. We don't all get to get a guarantee that we start at the same starting point or that we have the same ending point or that we have the same results. We're guaranteed the opportunity in this place. That's independence. That's our freedom. I'll tell a quick story. You know, I think about back to a, a selection and assessment I was in back with one of my buddies, uh, Leon. I'll just say his name's Leon and I'm not going to say the rest of his name, but we were going through this selection assessment. He's a big boy. He's probably a foot and a half taller than I am. Long legs. We were carrying, I don't know, 75 pounds on our back doing this ruck march. And he was probably easily a half mile ahead of me. And this was a tryout, right? This was a selection and assessment. He's a half mile ahead of me. And we get to this point where they tell everybody that they have to stop. You have to stop. You have to take your boots off. You have to get your feet checked for blisters, things like that. This is like 15 miles down the road. They got to check you. So he's sitting there. He is a half mile ahead of me and he's taking his boots off. I see him sitting there on the ground, right? And uh, so I'm like, all right, they're going to tell me to stop, but I'm just not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. And that way I get to overcome this guy, get to pass him up and, uh, and, and pull ahead of him, right? That's taking advantage of the opportunity. So I do that, right? Go flying past him, probably end up getting a half mile past Leon in this tryout. And so he sees that he races, gets to get races to get his boots back on, ends up catching up with me because he's got such long legs that, you know, him carrying 75 pounds on his back is like a fly landing on his shoulder because he's such a big boy. He catches up with me, still ends up beating me, but he started going harder, harder than he was before, even though somebody overtook him because he had the opportunity to do so. He could have quit. He could have sat there and said, oh, that person didn't stop and take their boots off. That person, you know, they're too far ahead. Could have come up with a hundred excuses to not still just race with everything that he had to still overtake me, but he still did it, right? And when he overtook me, I did everything that I could to try to catch up with. I couldn't do it because he was just born going to be bigger than I was, right? My kids are probably never going to be 6'5". It's just the reality for them. But he took advantage. He pulled ahead. He gave it everything that he had. That's America. Every day we get the chance to just go out there and give it all we got every day. So proud of this country. So proud of this place for all the issues and problems that we have. I'm just going to end it with this. No other country, no other capital, no other government, no other place that I would rather be a part of than the red, white, and blue, the United States of America. Love this place. Again, I uh, hope you all have the best Independence Day. God bless you all. I wish you all the best. You all take care.